John Gell's Exposition of the Bible, Revelations, chapter 1, verse 4. Reading from the King James Bible, quote, And to the seven churches which are in Asia, grace be unto you and peace, from him which is, and which was, and which is to come, and from the seven spirits which are before his throne, unquote. John Gill's, quote, John to the seven churches which are in Asia, in lesser Asia, their names are mentioned in Revelation chapter 1, verse 11. Grace be unto you in peace, which is the common salutation of the apostles in all their epistles, and includes all blessings of grace and all prosperity, inward and outward. See Gil on Romans chapter 1, verse 7. The persons from whom they are wished are very particularly described. From him which is and which was and which is to come, which some understand of the whole trinity, the Father by him which is, being the I am that I am, the Son by him which was, which was with God the Father, and was God, and the Spirit by him which is to come, who was promised to come from the Father and the Son, as a comforter and the Spirit of truth. Others think Christ is here only intended as he is in Revelation chapter 1 verse 8, by the same expressions, and is he which is, since before Abraham he was the I am, and he which was, the eternal Logos, or word, and is to come, as the judge of quick and dead, but rather this is to be understood of the first person of God the Father. And the phrases are expressive both of his eternity, he being God from everlasting to everlasting, and of his immu immutability, he being now what he always was, and will be what he is now, and ever was, without any variableness or shadow of turning. They are a use of separate words to express a grammatical relationship that is otherwise expressed by inflection. Explanation of the word Jehovah, which includes all tenses, past, present, and to come. So the Jews explain this name in Exodus 3, verse 14. Reading from the King James Bible, quote, And God said unto Moses, I am that I am. And he said, Thus shalt thou say unto the children of Israel, I am has sent me unto you. As Rabbi Isaac, the holy blessed God, said to Moses, Say unto them, I am he that was, and I am he that now is, and I am he that is to come. Wherefore, H-Y-H-A, is written three times. The perisophrasia, that's P-E-R-I-P-H-A-R-A-I-S-I-S, -I 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 of God is frequent in the writings. And of the seven spirits which are before his throne, either before the throne of God the Father, or as the Ethiopic version reads, before the throne of the Lord Jesus Christ, by whom are met not angels, though there are spirits, and stand before the throne of God, and are ready to do his will. This is the sense of some interpreters, who think such a number of them is mentioned with reference to the seven angels of the churches, or to the seven last, C-P-H-I-R-O-T, or numbers of the tree of the Jews, the three first they suppose designed the three persons of the Godhead expressed in the preceding clause, and the seven last the whole company of angels, or the seven principal angels the Jews speak of indeed in the Apocrypha. Tobet twelve fifteen quote I am Raphael, one of the seven holy angels, which present the prayers of the saints and which go in and out before the glory of the Holy One. Unquote. Raphael is said to be one of the seven angels, but it does not appear to be a generally received notion of theirs that there are seven principal angels. The Chaldee paraphrase on Genesis 11:7 is misunderstood by Mr. Mead, for not seven, but seventy angels are there addressed. It was usual for the Jews only to speak of four principal angels who stood round about the throne of God, and their names are Michael, Uriel, Gabriel and Raphael. According to them, Michael stands at the right hand, Uriel at the left, Gabriel before him, and Raphael behind him. Moreover, it does not seem likely that angels should be placed in such a situation between the divine persons, the Father and the Son, and still less that grace and peace should be wished for from them 
has from God the Father and the Lord Jesus Christ, and that any countenance should be given to angel worship in a book in which angels are so often represented as worshipers and in which worship is more than once forbidden and that by themselves, but by these seven spirits are intended the Holy Spirit of God, who is one in his person. But his gifts and graces are various, and therefore he is signified by this number because of the fullness and perfection of them in respect to the seven churches over whom he presides, whom he influences and is signified and filled and enriched with his grace and gifts. And of John Gill, Exposition of the Bible, Revelations chapter 1, verse 4. Reading the verse again from the King James Bible, quote, John, to the seven churches which are in Asia, grace be unto you and peace from him which is and which was and which is to come, and from the seven spirits which are before his throne. Unquote. John Gill, Revelation chapter 1, verse 4.